Hi, welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, a video podcast about anything in Photoshop and Lightroom and Bridge as well. I'm Marek Molarczyk from SAI Trainer UK, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And this this week, all I've got for you is a video about using color lookup tables, where you can create your own presets and apply them. Now, let me show you color lookup tables first. So I'm just going to hide all these adjustments I've got in here, which we'll use, and that's the original image. That's what the image looks like. I'm going to unlock this background layer as well. So you can apply color lookup as an adjustment layer. So what we can do is go to adjustments panel. That's one here. That's the color lookup adjustment. So we can apply that. And again, it's presets with all these different effects. So for example, we've got this soft warming lookup. A bit more magenta. I'll go this tension green, okay. and many many others in here. Candlelight and so on. And some of them are in different formats as well. So some of them, some of them I will be in the 3DL format or cube format. But what if you want to use something that you create, or how you can create something and apply it as well? So I'm going to remove this adjustment layer. This color lookup adjustment layer. And I've made some adjustments in here already. So I've got all these different adjustments that create this kind of um, cross-process effect, which I customize with a number of different adjustments in here. And we're going to turn it into a preset for a color lookup, a color lookup table. So what you do is first you open an image, add some adjustments, customize it, and I'm using adjustment layers. And the idea behind the color lookup table is so I don't have to keep this document and apply the same adjustments over and over again. There'll be just one color lookup table. So what you do is you go to File menu, then go to Export, and then Color Lookup Tables. When I select it, in this case in here, I'm going to get this uh, alert error message saying that you couldn't export the color lookup tables because this document has no background. So to export to color lookup tables, your document has to have a background layer. Not a big deal. I'll click OK. And with the layer 0 selected, we'll go to Layer Menu, New, and then Background from Layer. And I'll go to File Menu again, Export, and then Color Lookup Tables. You can add description to it. So I'm going to call it My Cross Process. I'll keep the grid at the medium size, 32 points, that's fine. For the format, I'll just use the 3DL. You could use all of them if you wanted to. Initially, actually, all of them would be selected. I was going to use the 3DL, that's fine. And I'll click OK. Then I'll put it straight on the desktop, so it'll be easy to find. So it'll be my, my what do I call it? Uh, cross process. My cross process. And I'll just save that. OK. Now, if I want to apply it, so if I just hide all these adjustment layers here, I'm just alt clicking on the eye icon for the background layer to hide everything but the layer you're clicking on. And now we'll go to the adjustments panel. We'll open the color lookup. Okay, I'll just move it uh, back here where it belongs. So in here, we're going to load a 3D LUT <laughs> or 3D LUT. Okay. And I will, well, it's not showing me mine in here right now. That's because it's looking for these cube files. So I'm going to change it to 3DL file, because that's what I used in here. That's my cross process. Okay. Choose load and apply this effect. And it's a color lookup adjustment layer. We can apply it to other images. So I've got another image in here. So you can go to the color lookup, load the 3D LUT, load the same color lookup table, 3DL file. As the one and applies in here with the adjustment layer. Now, because this is an adjustment layer and it comes with a layer mask, we could edit it. So we could have the layer mask selected, can grab a brush, just normal brush, a black is the foreground color, and we can hide the effect from a part of this image in here. So we could just apply it in here. So say this text disper will not use this effect, this color lookup table. 
So we can edit this layer mask non-destructively because layer masks are non-destructive. It's going to really quickly here. And here you go. That's how you can use um, color lookup tables. That's how you can create your own color lookup table as well. So try them, experiment, have fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from saitraining.co.uk. Saitraining.co.uk. You get a link on your screen. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like it, uh, let other people know to watch it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon on the next episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Your video podcast about anything Photoshop, Lightroom and Bridge as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.